Team Gamer here, and the rat is here. Yep, the rat herself. So, um, of course, just like any other summoning video or pull video, I am going to be pulling for Jane, of course. I'm also going to be pulling for her, well, W Engine 2. And, um, I also want to walk away with uh, Seth as well. Seth is a really good uh, partner for Jane. It's actually uh, Jane's best um, partner and also best pair up too. Because uh, Seth gives 100 anomaly to uh, party members, which is really good on a anomaly character like Jane Doe. And he's also great on teams with like Grace and Piper and whatnot. So um, it'll be fun to test him out, basically. But the main prize here is obviously Jane Doe. So, um, well, anyways, um, this is my polychrome count. This is my tapes count. We're just going to be doing some pulls and, uh, yeah. Well, anyways, without any further ado, uh, let's just pull. So, uh, well, this is my pity right here. Let's just get this started. All right. Holy crap! No way! No way did we get Jane on first multi. No way. No way. No way. I... No way. What? No way. 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 No way that we get Jane first multi. Are, are you serious? I... I... I don't... What? HOLY CRAP! What? Jane first multi! Jane first multi! Are you kidding me? That- What? Whoa! Whoa, 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 She's right there! She's right there! In front of my eyes! It's right there! Um... We got her at first multi! Holy crap! Holy god! Holy crap! We got her at first multi! Oh! Holy crap! Oh! She's right there! There we go! Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 Okay! 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 Oh! Oh! I gotta calm down! I gotta calm down! I gotta calm down! Oh! We got her at first multi. We got her at first multi. You know the odds of that? You know the odds of that? <laughs> that is really low odds. And we got her on first multi. Are you kidding me? O okay then. Well, it's it's W engine time, I guess. Well, uh, well, this is gonna be my pity right here. Um, the S rank. So uh, let's see what I get here, I guess. Um. All right, let, let, let's do it. Okay. Oh, I, I I would have a heart attack if it was another, um, if it was another S rank back to back. Okay, we got Anvi's W engine. Um, mainly I want Seth's W engine too. I might actually kind of go back to Jane to do another multi just to get Seth. So yeah. Well, um, anyways, let's just keep going right here. Okay. Alright, just a standard A rank. Okay. Two A ranks. Hopefully one of them is Seth's uh, W engine. And no, it's not. It's Sokaku's. Well, I do need more Sokaku W engine dupes because I am close to maxing out her W engine. So that's pretty great, actually. Alright. Let's do another multi. Let's see what we get here. All right, another A rank. Uh, one, one A rank, it looks like. Oh, wait, we got Seth's W engine. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, we have 40 more pulls until we get our S rank W engine. So let's just uh, keep it up. Okay, we got another A rank. Um, the only A rank, um, or the only two A rank W engines that I'm missing right now are Lucy's W engine 
and uh, Ben's W engine because I, I haven't pulled for those yet. So if we do get, well, kind of lucky and we just get them off of, uh, uh, if we lose like the uh, A- Oh, that's four. Holy crap. Anton, two Seth W engines and, and, and BW engine. Okay, okay, I'll take that. Sure. All right. This will be the I think the second to last multi because we are we are at twenty two pity right now. All right, two A ranks. All right, Ben and well, speaking of Ben, I guess we just got Ben, but we got another and BW engine. Okay, this will be the last multi. They have to give me the S rank here, or else I have to do singles. All right there, it is. Alright, so it's the first thing that'll pop up. So let's see if it is Jane's W engine. Okay, it's the restrained again. Oh my goodness. They, uh, the restrained again? Are you kidding me? You know you know what my restrained is at right now? It's at 2 star. So that means that the restrained for me now, since I did just get the restrained, is at 3 stars. 3 star restrained. Yep. Well, at least our next multi is guaranteed, so let's just keep going. Alright. Another A rank. Two A ranks. Well, three A ranks, actually. No, four! Four A ranks. Holy crap. Okay, so we basically already maxed out Seth's W engine. That's great. Alright, let's do another multi, shall we? Alright. Two, three, three A ranks. Ben, Seth, and Anbies. Okay. Alright. We got two more to go, so let's just keep this up. Alright. One A rank, it looks like. Let's see what we get here. Anbies W engine. Okay, okay. All right, let's do the last multi. All right, so that is one, one A rank, it looks like. Okay. All right, set W engine, okay. Well, um, I will uh, cut back and I will get more uh, polychromes. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut back, get some more polychromes and I will just see you guys, uh, well, after the next cut. So, uh, Let's cut to uh, me having more uh, polychromes. All right, we are back with some more polychromes. So um, this will basically give us the guaranteed W engine, but I might do one more multi just to get Seth because um, Seth is still really good and um, he is rated up in this um, Jane Doe banner. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna do like one multi. If I don't get him, then I'll probably just pull him off, um, off recording probably. All right. Three A ranks. Seth, Seth, um, Seth, Seth, uh, and B, it looks like. All right, let's do the last multi right here. All right, there it is. We got the, uh, W engine in the bag, baby. Um, well, since we already know what it is, well, let's just, uh, cut to it right there. Uh, there it is. All right. Uh, there it is. We got a uh, Jane's W engine. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the rest of the A ranks are. Okay, we got this. All right, cool. Okay, so now um, we have to do like at least like one more multi on Jane's banner. So uh, let's just see what we get here. Um, hopefully a A rank because I don't want another S rank really. It, it would be insane though if it was another S rank. Two A ranks. Okay. Let's see if we get Seth here. If it's Seth, then I can walk away. Nope, it is a W engine. Okay, let's do another one. All right. Uh, one A rank. Hopefully that is Seth. Okay, there it is. All right, now we can stop summoning. Okay, we got Seth in the bag, baby. So now, um, that's... 
that's basically it. We got everything that we wanted. We got Jane on first multi, which I, I still I'm still flap uh, flabbergasted about that we actually got Jane first multi. Um, the luck could have been better on W Engine. We got a third restrained. Yeah, so now my Lycon is literally uh, cracked. So yeah, um, now Lycon is officially uh, one of my best stunners in my roster now. So I guess that's cool. I mean, Lycon is still really great to run. He's still really good. Um, so yeah, but um, we got everything we wanted. We got her W Engine, Jane Doe. We got Seth, even though it does it did take us two multi to get him. And um, we got uh, her W engine right here. So yeah, well, the only thing left for me to do now is to test everyone and to build them. So uh, expect a Jane Doe showcase video soon. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, well, since we already did that, now we have to go to the events tab and test everyone out. So yeah, we're going to be testing out Jane and we're going to be testing out Seth to see how they play. But um, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure everyone knows how they both play because they, um, because you play as Jane and Seth in the special episode. So, yeah. But, um, Jane is literally just a anomaly character who specializes in assault damage because all of her core skills, um, tailor around assault damage. Even her, um, core skill gives her crit rate and crit damage on assault. So, yeah. Alright, so it looks like we got to do perfect dodges, so let's do that. There we go. Um, by the way, perfect dodges and um, other moves too um, increase her passion meter. When she is at full passion, she uh, enters the passion state, which gives her a lot of um, benefits. So yeah, um, look as you see there, it says passion stream. So yeah, uh, if you accumulate enough of defensive assist and perfect dodges, you get passion stream. When you enter passion stream, your physical anomaly buildup is increased. So yeah, and. Um, when you do a uh, charge attack, you can uh, restore the passion um, stream. Same thing with uh, ch uh, the perfect dodge. Perfect dodge also triggers the passive stream. So yeah, so um, we can just do another one. So let's uh, let's build up the passion stream. Um, we can see here. Look at that damage. Obviously ridiculous damage. Um, all right, so now we can just do that. Um, and I think if one more should do it. There we go. And then we can do a uh, hold charge. As you see there, it does restore the passion gauge, um, even though um, we haven't done that. Yeah, but as you see there, her um, her dodges increase her anomaly buildup rate and also increase everything about her kit. So her whole kit's basically just um, assault damage. It's just all assault damage. So yeah, um, I already mentioned it before, but if you are under passion state, you can just um, do the uh, hold basic attack, which is um, Shao Chao Jump. Uh, which I think they'll let us do. So, um, the best way to do Shao Chao Jump is if, of course, you're under half. Because, um, let's just waste the meter here. So, I see there the meter's low. If we do it right here, it restores the passion meter. So, it's uh, ideal to basically, um, do it when Jane is halfway done with her, uh, with her passion stream. To restore the passion meter. So, yeah. Well, anyways, um... So the, the main rotation for Jane and Seth, since they both work together, is if you do EX, of course. So do EX. There we go. And then you do the hold attack. There we go. And then you switch to Jane. And then you basically, uh, yeah, there you go. And then you just go into that. Look at that assault damage. 300k damage. Absolutely ridiculous right there. All right. Uh, we can restore the shield again, so let's do EX. And then let's do charge. Switch to Jane. There we go. And let's go to Jane again. Um, yeah, as you see there, as long as you have the shield up on the uh, bottom left, um, you should be fine for the most part. So yeah, let's just uh, do some normals. Um, and like, increase the passion meter. There we go. Let's just do that. Alright, now we can do charge and then do assault damage. Yeah, look at that damage. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it looks like our shield is down, so we can just uh, use Seth again. So let's do Seth. We can do charge again. There we go. We got the meter up. So let's see her max assault damage right here. We got her ult ready. 
Oh, absolutely massive damage. Holy crap, Jane. Jane is just way too good. Holy crap. Yeah, well, there is Jane and the Seth combo right there. So the main purpose of Seth is to basically get his shield up. Once his shield is up, you pass it on to your next party member, of course. And then that party member gets 100 anomaly, um, 100 anomaly for free, as well as a shield. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, that is Jane's. So now we can look at Seth. But I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure they're gonna pair Seth with, uh, Piper, I think. For his demo. Uh, well, unless they pair him up with Jane, uh, for some reason. Alright, let's see. So yeah, um, I already talked about it, but, um, he needs resolve stacks. And in order to get resolve stacks, you have to basically just get energy. Um, so yeah. So, um... We can see here, as you see there, uh, while accumulating resolve, you can gain shield by holding the EX special. So yeah, that's basically how his gameplay works. So, I see there, this is his uh, EX, so let's use his EX. When he does this, he already gets his 75%. So now you can just do charge and consume it all, and then there you go. Um, we can pass on the uh, buff to someone else. But um, I didn't... I didn't do the prompt because um, I wanted to uh, do it again because of this. So let's do this. And you can do this. Yeah, there we go. As you see there, it's pretty nice. Um, you can also press X. Or you can also press um, the special button when you have full meter too. Um, it still does the same thing. It gives you shield right away. But holding it gives you the automatic 75, I think. So yeah, um, holding it is better than pressing it. So, um, if you do have max, uh, meter right here, as you see on the top left, you can just do charge. Pass that Balfon to someone else, and there you go. Now they have 100 anomaly buildup for free. So, yeah. Um, that's basically Seth gameplay. You just give shield and anomaly buildup to someone. Um, make sure you give him energy regen and attack, though, because he scales off of attack. So, you want to give him attack. So, let's do this again. There we go. Um, let's put the- yeah, let's do this. Alright, now we do charge. Let's pass it on to Anby. And now Anby gets the buff here. Um, and she will do like a ton of shock damage too. Alright, let's uh, let's summon the boars. There we go. Uh, by the way, the shield doesn't go away until it is around 25 seconds, I believe. Yeah, so you have 25 seconds of shield. And um, once those 25 seconds are up, you just basically put on the shield again. It's really that simple, really, to um, play Seth. Seth is Seth is uh, simple, but he's pretty effective on anomaly teams. So let's uh, try to get his uh, thing again. Uh, there you go. Let's just do EX right here to get the stuff back. Uh, and then let's just do the charge to get our shield back. There we go, let's switch, and then uh, now Anby has the buff here. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I already showcased how he works. He's just a uh, anomaly support for anomaly characters, which is really good, because um, there weren't really that much anomaly supports, unless you count, like, um, unless you count Reyna. But uh, Reyna is not really a anomaly support, she's more like a pen support. She's a pen support um, through and through. I think this should kill him. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's do EX right here. Let's switch to Seth and then get his meter back. Alright, there we go. Let's do charge. Switch to Anby. And now Anby's just gonna be doing her ult right here. There we go. Let's uh, summon this again. Um, it's really good. Alright, there we go. Yeah, as you see there, the shock damage is absolutely ridiculous. Alright. Let's take advantage while he's stunned. There we go. Let's do this again. And that should give us a ton of stun. Alright, let's do Lucy. We can switch to Andy afterwards. Alright. I think he should be almost done right here. Uh, let's do charge. There we go. You can switch to Anby. And then I think Anby should just finish it off right there. There we go! Alright! So yeah, that's how Seth works. Um, for the most part, he just 
does eat axe and then he puts up shield. That's basically it. That's uh, his gameplay right there. And that's basically it for um, the uh, summoning video or the pull video. Um, we tested both characters out. You saw how good they are. So now you form your own opinions on if you want to summon them or not. But I already made my choice. I summoned for both of them. So yeah, that, that's my choice. So um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this um, Jane pull video. If you do enjoy this Jane uh, pull video or Seth video, whatever you want to call it, um, and if you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, it really does mean a lot if you do uh, like and subscribe because it really does support me. It helps me keep me motivated. It helps me make me make more videos. It helps me pump out more content for you guys to enjoy. So again, if you do like and subscribe, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So again, thank you so much. Um, as for the comments down below, uh, what do you think of Jane and Seth? You think they're good? You think they're bad? Um, what do you think about uh, her banner as well? And did you pull for her? Uh, let me know. Uh, and also, uh, what about Seth? Did you pull for Seth alone? Or you just pulled for Jane? Or did you pull for both? Um, it really does... Um, uh, question, really. <laughs> because, uh, well, Jane is still good. Um, it's just that, like, um... You also need Seth too, so I don't know if you want to give up one or the other. So yeah, um, it'll be a very interesting topic to discuss for sure. So yeah, well, as always, thank you guys for watching this Jane poll video. And I'll see you guys in the next gotcha video.